in this first chapter, we will give you an overview of the Trident Heat Charger. This is an MV Hor polycarbonate charger. It's produced and developed using national technology. Its weight is about 7 kilos, depending on the hose you have. The hose can be smooth, 5 or 10 meter, or spring hose, 5 meter. A socket version of the charger is also available. As you can see, on the front of the charger, there is a 2.6 inch screen display on which charging information is shown, and also the logo, which is illuminated according to the charging statues. This illumination will be explained in a later chapter. The hose connector is located on the right side of the heat charger. To remove the hose, first pull the hose upwards to realize it from the locking clip integrated in the system and then pull it outwards. To attach it, insert the hose into the holder, leaving a small gap at the bottom so it does not collide with the locking clip. Finally, slide the hose downwards to fit it into the integrated locking clip. The charger must be protected in accordance with the regulation of this country. One of its main functional features is that it has dynamic power control means that it can balance the load with the household's energy consumption, so it's avoiding power cuts. Note that with the Shaley sleeve, balancing is done wirelessly without the need to connect cables. It also connects directly to solar inverters wirelessly and has a connectivity with Alexa and home assistants. It's the only heat charger that you control, adept on get all the information from via telegram thanks to the V2C bot. It also stands out for its integration of V2C payments, a system for monetizing the recharging point. It has an open MPA for developers. It incorporates modus TCP and RTU communication and OCCP communication for inclusion in management platforms. Above all, it's an official after-sales service and is constantly incorporating improvements and new features.